we are looking here at a function f of x is equal to what you see here e to the x divided by e to the x plus 1 a rational function we have to find f of 0 f of infinity and f of minus infinity you can plug these in but it can be easier if you manipulate this function how can we manipulate it take the numerator take the denominator individually divide them by the highest order variable exponent what do i mean e to the x divided by e to the x that's my numerator i divided it by e to the x take the denominator and do the same e to the x plus 1 divided by e to the x now simplify this i'll have a 1 over if you were to take this denominator items and divide them by e to the x you'll have 1 plus 1 over e to the x now you evaluate your items f of 0 if i put 0 in places of x i'll have 1 over 1 plus 1 which is a 1 over 2 if i do f of infinity i'm putting infinity right here i'll have a 1 over 1 plus 0 1 over infinity tends towards 0 and this is going to be a 1. If I do f of minus infinity, how does that play out? What do I have? I'm looking at 1 or 1 plus infinity. Because I'll be looking at a reciprocal 1 or 1 plus infinity, which will be a 1 or infinity, and that tends towards 0. I have my items. Now, the beauty of this is you can actually use these to plot your graph. When I'm looking at f of 0, that was giving me my y-intercept, 0, comma 1 over 2. When I'm looking at infinity, I'm tending towards 1. It's giving my horizontal asymptote. I have a horizontal asymptote here at y equals 1. When I'm evaluating f of minus infinity, it's giving me a value of 0. It's yet another horizontal asymptote, which is your x-axis, y equals 0. That right there is a horizontal asymptote, and your function is squeezed right in between. It would look something like this. That's what it is. You'll have a y-intercept here at 0, comma 1 over 2. As you approach the values of infinity, you're going here to the upper asymptote. As you're approaching the values of negative infinity, you're coming here to the lower asymptote. Your domain here is minus infinity to infinity. Your range is 0 to 1, but not including 0 and not including 1, and it's done.